<laughs> welcome, guys. Um, today it's night speaking, and welcome to the Happy Smoothie Hour show. Uh, today we have a special guest, and I would like, before we start, to let you know that we are going live not only on my personal profile, not only on one or two pages, but we are going live on 10 pages or 11 pages, actually. So if you happen to comment, I can, unfortunately, from my personal profile, see your comment in a real time. So the best thing I could do is once the live is over, get back to those comments and answer you. So thank you for, so much for watching and being uh, so faithful to this show. So today we have a special guest called Dorothy. She's gonna tell us a little bit about herself, what she's doing and how she's taking care of her health because everybody knows that during the COVID-19, that's not the best um, way to cope with everything. Everything is upside down. So she's gonna give us her tidbit about her story and how she's handling it and how she's staying healthy and shiny and glowing, which is really amazing during this situation, being a mom, handling kids, being a teacher, being everything at home, that's not the easiest way. So welcome Dorothy and thank you for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. I am so grateful to be joining you today, to be sharing my experiences with uh, everything that's going on, especially during these difficult times where we have, um, uh, there's so much unrest, uh, so much uh, promotion going on everywhere. And we're still trying to find a balance in between everything going on. And one thing that I discovered that was a, uh, was a better way for me to be able to handle all this in a, in a very calm way is just to, to get myself introduced to this amazing, amazing um, product that I laid my hands on, like um, a smoothie. That's what I discovered that oh. was able to give me. Speaking yes. of smoothie, smoothie hour. I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to the smoothies. There we go. Mm. My goodness. It is good. <laughs> so tell me what's in so, it. You go first and I'll go second. What's yeah, in your so smoothie you see, today? <laughs> yes. So what's in my smoothie today? I call this the meal replacement uh, smoothie. The, it's um, What it's called is the morning burst energy smoothie. Mm. The morning burst energy wow. smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> so what's in it? So what's, what I have in here is I have a cup of water, one cup of water, one cup of crushed ice. I love my ice. You can see from this, you can see the glass is uh, having all the, the, the dew from the ice. I love my crushed mm -hmm. ice. So I have one cup of water, one cup of crushed ice, two handfuls full of uh, uh, spinach washed. I have one cup of frozen strawberries. Mm. I have a half cup of tropical mixed fruits. So in the mixed fruits, we have a little bit of uh, um, a pineapple, a little bit of uh, um, peach, a little mm. bit of coconut. You know, I love wow. coconut. Yes. I love coconut I too. Love coconut flavor. So instead of going with the coconut uh, water, I just get the tropical fruit that has the coconut chunks in them. So I have a uh, half cup of um, the tropical fruit. I have half mm -hmm. a banana and a scoop of my amazing shake that I use to give me all this glow that you see on, mm -hmm. as well as a full tablespoon of flax seed. Wow, so that's really that, heavy. Me. <laughs> yes, that's why I call it the meal replacement energy burst uh, drink, uh, morning burst energy drink. It's a meal replacement. So I have all that in here, throw it them in the blender, blend really well. You see, I like to blend my smoothie really, really smooth. That way, if I'm sipping, I'm not having any anything stuck in my mouth. So I like to do it this way and I blend everything together really good and then I take it for my breakfast. So when awesome. I take that in the morning, it keeps me going. It gives me all the energy that I need. Perfect. So what do you For me, um, cheers to that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> cheers so to in that. In my smoothie to that, I have for today's smoothie, I have... Um, Oh, Hosiana, since you are logged in, uh, I can't see you. Your camera is not on. See so if you could fix that. So I'm going to get back 
okay, I could see you and you're on standby. Um, the thing is here today on my happy smoothie hour, I mixed berries. Today I had my blackberries, I had uh, blueberries, I had strawberries, and I had cherries. Got all the, the berries going on. Yeah, <laughs> all the berries in. And then I add a little bit of date to just give it a sugary taste because yes. I don't mind having extra sugar or extra um, heavy meal. Uh, and then I mix the whole thing with two scoops of chocolate protein shake. And then when I mix the whole thing, you have this and it's really smooth. And I'm telling you, the cherry give it a specific taste that's really amazing. That's awesome. That's yeah. what I do. <clears throat> That is awesome. And I it blend the good. whole thing. Yeah, it looks it super looks good. It really good. Yeah. It looks and really super good. super good too. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> so in, uh, what, what made you change your life uh, style? What made you decide to go for a smoothie meal? Because I know many people would be like, you know what? I don't like the feeling of drinking. It's not like eating. I need to chew and I need mm -hmm. to feel like I'm filling my belly. So what was the reason and how did you feel like after you started having this kind of diet? You know, um, during this, <clears throat> sorry, during this lockdown, you know, my, I have kids, you know, I was, I'm a busy mom. I go and come. So during the lockdown period, children were out of school. Mm -hmm. So me and my husband had to make the tough decision to be able to stay home with them and help them with their, um, their virtual learning program that they started doing because um, they had to finish, they go on with the semester. So I had to mm -hmm. take off from work to be home with the kids. And when that happened, you know, just sitting in the house, not doing anything, you're just turning around the same spot. I started gaining weight because I was not going anywhere. And because I wasn't dressing up to go anywhere, I didn't even realize that I was putting on so much pounds. So I was just comfortable in the house. I wake up in the morning, take a shower. I get in my free clothes and I just sit there. So I started noticing that something was different in my body. So I was like, oh no, I know already I have issues with my weight. Now it's just getting worse because I'm just living a sedimentary lifestyle where I don't go anywhere, I don't do anything. So I started doing some research as to what I should be doing to help me, since we have so much restriction of going out there, what should I be doing to help me with uh, uh, my weight issues? So I remember one time I'd done a smoothie diet and it really helped me lose the weight. So I said, okay, you know, right now with age and everything added to it, the stress that we are going through, it's going to be a little bit challenging this time around. So I have to figure out something that will mm -hmm. really help me. Win. Yes. So that's how I came across I came uh, to to uh, start to doing my smoothies. Thing. Yes, mm -hmm. I started, started doing my smoothies. I try to do this every single day for breakfast. You know, during sometimes I can have it twice a day, but breakfast that is my meal. And for okay. the past three months and how now, how do you feel like if you use? I don't know what you used to have for breakfast. What did you use to have for breakfast? Something heavy or? To, yeah, I used to have something heavy. I love. I used to love to drink coffee. You know, okay. I used to love to drink my coffee. When I wake up in the morning, coffee was my to go. If I didn't drink my coffee, and I don't like drinking black coffee, you know, I like to drink my coffee with cream, with sugar, oh. make it taste good. Yes. <laughs> so I would drink I my coffee. And I laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I did not like to drink black coffee. I like to my coffee with some cream in it and some like the... The vanilla, uh, 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 vanilla uh, cream where we use to make coffee, and it has it has it has a lot of fat. So, but the flavor was very addictive. It kept pulling me to come back to it, even though I knew what was I was doing was wrong, but I could not resist. So I was <laughs> indulging on that, and I started gaining weight so much. So I, I it got to a point I said I had to stop. Okay. So once I stop, and do you regret now after I that? Absolutely, you, have no regret. <laughs> absolutely no regret because trust me, for the short for this while that I've been using my doing my smoothies, I have my magic pa uh, uh, shake powder that I add to my smoothies. Since three months that I've been using this product, I've lost some weight. Awesome. I've and lost what would you tell your old self, like somebody who's watching right now, who used to be like you, who used to have those heavy 
coffee and breakfast, what would you tell your old self to kind of start doing it earlier? You know, I would tell my old self, I regret not starting earlier. I regret not using my willpower because I know I have a strong willpower that if I want to do something, I'll do it to fulfillment. But, you know, you just feel complacent about situations. So I will tell my old self, follow your heart. Do what's right. So I look at my old self now and I say, you know what? You are in the past. Uh, there's no way I'm going to get back with you again. So if you are that <laughs> old me, yes. If you are that old me, look at your, think about your health. That's one thing that's most important, especially during this time where people get sick just like that. You need to take care of your health. That should be your priority so you can be able to be there for yourself. So can I as on? Yes. So I introduced you to Luciana too. Uh, I'm pretty sure she has something to say about the change in your life. And yes. welcome, Luciana. Happy smoothie hour. Cheers Hi, to you. Happy smoothie hours. Absolutely. <laughs> so what's in your to what is in your smoothie, Luciana, today? So this is uh, this is a recipe that inspired by a friend of mine. So mm -hmm. I call it blueberry bomb, a uh, bomb blueberry, a blueberry bomb plus. <laughs> So, wow. Yes. Uh, in fact, I am going to a blueberry picking right now. I'm in the car, as you can see. So I love blueberries mm -hmm. in my smoothies. And this is a blueberry smoothies. And I put a bunch of stuff. I was listening to Dorothy. Uh, yes, I put that flax seeds, chia and hemp. Uh, and I put multivitamins and minerals. I put two scoops of vegan protein powder. I put one full scoop of fiber, uh, plant-based fiber, and it's all plant-based. And I just use water. It is so amazing. And it's a full meal replacement. I'm taking this every single day. Never get bored. But, you know, like if you take everyday blueberry bomb, it will be a little bit uh, boring. So I got a lot of recipes uh, that I got. Uh, from anywhere sometimes I go Google but now we have a book coming up which yeah. is Nay she is the mm -hmm. author so that book will be my lifesaver so cheers <laughs> wow. yes, that mm -hmm. is awesome cheers 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 cheers, yeah. cheers. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me though. Uh, really interesting this subject. A lot of people, um, they, um, they either do not know that, uh, you know, it's, it's a good habit to have a protein shake every morning or a, a smoothies or every day, basically, or they just never try. Or they just only think that those is just for people who go to the gym and pumping the muscles are, are just boring and not be like, oh, I want to eat real food, like you said, right? Yeah. So um, I uh, I just thought like why I didn't know this sooner. <laughs> so there's the okay, only I want to say like hi to people sooner. watching us right, right now. We have Rosalie Wallace watching. We have Karen Rogers watching, and we have Abby watching. She said hi, by the way. Oh, and hi, Abby everyone. told me that she sent you Dorothy to me. So thank Hello, you so much. Abby. <laughs> yeah, she's live right yes. now. We have five you know? people, but I can't just see two or three of them. I don't see all the names. So thank you guys for being here. And thank you for recommending anyone you think could be a good fit for this show. It's really nice of you. And we love the recommendation. Keep going on that. And I, right now I'm going to speak about, um, I'm going to read a list. Uh, about uh, all the kind of disease you could come, you could fight, uh, or you could kind of uh, move out of your life. Let's call it that way. Uh, it's it's uh, starting with, uh, and also you're gonna start if you feel like Dorothy or Sienna, something that's related to you. You could just pop up and say something about it. And I'm gonna keep going with the list later. So okay. it's abdominal bloating. You could remove it using every. Oh, you wanna talk? Okay, go ahead, Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you know, right up on the list, yeah. So abdominal <laughs> bloating, that was, that's one thing that I used to suffer from a lot, you know, a lot. Because like I said, I my body is not the same like it used to have. I, had, I have four kids, twins in between, and yes, <laughs> and, oh. I, and, also, and also a granddaughter. So <laughs> absolutely. So my body doesn't react to things the way it normally would. So the abdominal bloating is something that I suffered from. You know, it keep like you're you're always you always feel like you're full even when you're hungry. I I 
sometimes I want to eat, but I, I feel like I don't have to eat because my stomach is so bloated. So abdominal bloating is something that I suffered from a lot and it's very uncomfortable. But guess what? You are feeling better now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good, so I am top on the list. <laughs> okay, do you want to say yes. something about it? <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, yes, to for me, abdominal bloating is more like a indigestion most of the time for me. So certain food when you eat, I don't know, I don't know about you, but you feel like you want to burp, or you, you feel like oh, the meal is still there, sitting in my stomach for maybe two hours and three hours that is to me is that kind of bloating is indigestions of course it's bloated because there's so much gas and the food cannot be digested right uh, and i like the uh, when you said already like you're hungry but you can't really eat because it's like so full but you're actually hungry i never mm -hmm. thought of that that's really so true uh that that create confusion so people are gonna tend to eat uh, like a lot because of there's so much bloated but they can't really eat, but they are so, you know, they're confused. When they want to eat, mm -hmm. they want to eat more, and then, but they couldn't. So when they really no more gas, they're going to eat a lot more. So they create uh, a lot of uh, blood sugars ups and down, and it's going to create a slow weight gain and also uh, a stomach uh, indigestion, right? Digestion is problem. But to me, yeah. it's the food that I eat, it creates that gas. And I saw, I can't even move. <laughs> but then we have to pretend that everything is okay if you're in the restaurant yes. you're like okay but it's so painful in inside <laughs> and a lot of people take, take you know um a pill that for for gastric they thought it's gastric but it's sometimes it's just blo bloated okay. yeah. yeah uh and then the next one is acid reflux mm. acne allergies Oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Dad. Yes, <laughs> I had a lot going on. Yeah, acne was a, a big issue that I also I was suffering from. Yeah, if you can see, you can still see some spots a little bit that are going away. I used to see, suffer from severe acne, severe, severe acne. Even after um, the changes in my body, sometimes they say when you are, you've crossed a certain age, you are on the other side of a womanhood, I think I'm sure you understand what I mean by that. <laughs> you don't have this acne anymore because I had um, I had fi severe fibroids, so I had surgery, hysterectomy, and everything was taken out. So my system just went through a complete change. So things started changing in my body. Yes, that added to with the weight gain and stuff like that. So acne was one of the things that I suffered from a lot. I went to different allergy clinics. I went to the dermatologist and all that. They did everything they could. They said, oh, you are allergic to this, you are allergic to that. So uh, don't eat this, don't eat that. I did all that, but I was still wasn't getting any better. But since I started with my smoothie diet, everything has just turned around. It's like a 360 degree turn around. And I feel even out there, friends look at me and go like, wow, Dorothy, your skin looks so beautiful. Your face is getting clearer. What are you doing? And all I tell them is I have this amazing smoothie uh, and lifestyle change that I'm doing. If you want to know more, let me get, walk you through. So that's what I'm doing. Acne was something that I suffered from and I feel okay now. Perfect. So let's remind everyone watching as we play live right now, we are all talking about the smoothies and the power of that meal replacement smoothie. Meal replacement. Yeah. So, yeah. So we'll talk about allergies, we talk about anger issues, anxiety, arteries blocked with fat, autoimmune disease. Okay, go ahead, Lucy. <laughs> so <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. So autoimmune disease is um, it's getting on the rise right now. Uh, recently in the 2020s or even just the last five to 10 years. Um, there's a lot of factors uh, contributed to that. And I'm one of them kind of. Um, oh, some... Annette just joined us. Hi, Annette. Oh, hi, Annette. <laughs> I, I'm bad. <laughs> We're going to celebrate her later. <laughs> We're okay. waiting for you at the journal's live. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to so quickly go tell my story. Mm -hmm. So, I, Nate, and should I continue? Yes, please. Ah, okay. 
so um, I was diagnosed with uh, an autoimmune disease called lupus. I don't know if you guys, um, if you girls <laughs> familiar with that. So it's a couple of years ago, like more than seven years ago. So I didn't know it started with kind of like weird inflammations and pain and uh, headache, migraines, and like sometimes it's, it's just weird places without any, like you have bruises uh, and then like have this very sensitive uh, skin and sometimes you can't even go down to the sun. So long story short, I went to the dermatologist and I got an uh, intensive blood test. Then we just realized, ah, Okay, so that is what's happening in my body right now. So I was given medications um, to take. And if you know uh, people who have lupus, we can't really get off the medication. Basically, there's no cure for it, so you have to live with it. Um, so I took some things a little bit different. And I told myself, how about if I can do something uh, for from nutrition side, so my body kind of like regulated the, the, the immune system, right? It's not going to be too active or it's not going to be like lost. So I I went to my family doctor. Basically, my family doctor just suggested, how about you try like a diet without gluten, without dairy, uh, and no alcohol, no no coffee, basic, basically no stimulant and not acidic. So the, the goal is to reduce acidity in my body because when you're mm -hmm. acidic, uh, when you're alkaline, like natural, not alkaline, because we are not battery, uh, you uh, kind of like uh, this less inflammation in your body. And I said, okay, let me try. But the, the thing is, every time we go to the doctor, when you're being told to lose weight, you know, or get healthy or eat right, it, it is very broad advice. You want, for me, I, if I'm a patient, I want to know what kind of specific step that I can take every day when I wake up. What should mm -hmm. I take? Uh, what I eat? What is that? You know, the portion. If I want to like specific, but it's not always the case. The doctor just going to say, go home and do some weight, right? So uh, I was really lucky in 2015, somebody told me about a, a program called 30 Days to Healthy Living that do exactly that. And in order to do the program, we were introduced to have the smoothies. So I was like, oh, like, I, I never really think that uh, having smoothies to replace breakfast is an idea at all because I'm Asian. I eat like rice. I can eat rice from uh, breakfast, lunch, <laughs> and dinner. Um, yeah, it's so true. Like I grew up like that. And also to me, uh, like smoothies and that is like a fancy drink. So I'm going to spend like maybe seven, eight, ten dollars if I go to the mall and just buy it in a cafe. And then, you know, like it's fancy drink with the straw and the beautiful garden shoes. I just never thought that as a meal replacement that can eventually contribute to so much goodness for your health in overall and eventually to reduce the acidity that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. So. I embarked on the journey right away because it's like, this is something that I can do. It just makes sense. So I started in January 2015 and never looked back. And not only I gained so much knowledge, but I managed to, re to reduce a couple of pounds or kilograms. My skin really so much nicer and angry went down. So I, and, and, and the best is uh, I only have, you know, uh, to wash maybe two items, a blender. You don't have to cook. Cool. So yeah. I told myself, this is really for a lazy mom, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. <laughs> so there is so much goodness of having that, that you make yourself, don't buy in the store, but really learn about the ingredients that you put. So the main, the, the rule of thumb is you need to have protein, you need to have fiber, you need to have certain uh, good fats, and you have that uh, carbohydrates that comes from the, the sweetness, right? Because there are some sweetness in that. And then you can put a bunch of stuff if you want, just to make the flavor even better. So they come from fruits, uh, and that is why they, they your book's gonna be comes in really handy. I hope that makes <laughs> sense. Absolutely. So, uh, doctor, are you familiar with uh, lupus? The oh. autoimmune disease. Say, say that again. Are you familiar with the autoimmune uh, Hosiana shared with us, the disease? Yeah, I am. I, I've heard about people, I've, I've seen people who suffer from the, who had the, the condition. 
Yeah, but I don't really know much detail about it. I just know that people really it's a it's a difficult it's a difficult condition to to manage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now you learn that Hutchina is out of her meds yeah, now. It is, it and is. She's doing good. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh yes, I didn't tell that. Yeah. So it took mm -hmm. me um, three and a half years for me to not depend on any medication. Wow. But you never give up. That's it's a long journey, but it's worth it. Yeah, and you never give up because you could have said, okay, I'm tired after this. I never give up. Perfect. Don't ever give up. No. <laughs> Absolutely. It does life. it does wonders to your body. You know, it's good when you figure something out that works for you, you stick to it. Yeah. That's really, yeah. That's really <laughs> so great. You should try. Yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> So um, the next disease is blood sugar problems, uh, brain fog, brown spots and blemishes, cellulite. Brown, uh, I have oh, brown oh, spots. Oh. I have a lot of brown spots and blemishes because of my condition and also sun exposure and aging. I can't run away from that. Aging yeah. is, is a gift. Yes, like growing old is a gift. Don't 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 think it's a bad thing because a lot of people actually die at a very young age. They don't even know how it feels to be old. Yeah. So we have to be grateful because we're alive, and having that problem is fine. Uh, you just need to find a good skincare. But if you're taking care from the inside, your skin gonna glow just like Dorothy said. Look at her yeah. skin. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. It's Absolutely. From the inside. What, oh, what I'm you taking, said. Uh, collagen. What you said really makes sense. You know, you have to you have to treat yeah. it from the inside. Once you take care of it from the inside, it, it brings you see the glowing outside. So, so I know some people will just go not before that. I was not very much aware. I would try to treat it from the outside, get skin a, a cream to put on my body to mask whatever was was going on. Mm -hmm. What not knowing that it was everything that I was dealing with was inside. I had to take care of it from inside. And then the reflection will be showing outside. But once I noticed that I had to fix it from the inside, I had to stop all the madness that I was doing on my body, mixing different lotions with the other, just to try to mask whatever was going on. But since I, I realized it's that so true. I had to fix it from inside out, everything became together. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. No one will. <laughs> no one will believe that you are a grandmother. <laughs> no. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't believe you. I thank you. My granddaughter just turned one um, this month. <laughs> okay. wow. So my next yes. one: brain fog, brown spots and blemish. We already said that the cellulite, the chronic fatigue syndrome, constipation. Oh, you want to talk about the chronic fatigue? Yes, chronic <laughs> fatigue. You know when you when you have um, when you have uh, uh, excess weight, you're always tired. Like climbing up the stairs was a big problem for me. You know, if I go to the grocery store, I will circle around the store just to find the closest parking spot to the to the to the door. You know, I used to be that that person where I would find the closest spot to park because I was always tired. I was always tired. If I'm home, I just want to lay on the couch and sit there and sleep and watch TV all day. No want to do anything because I was always tired. But guess what? I'm feeling so much better now. Wow. And Osi, you want to add something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes, definitely. I was so tired too. And I was not, I was a really, really loose skinny. Because this, this disease either make you really skinny or make you really big. I've been both. But when I was skinny, I couldn't even, like, tired. Every step, feel like there's needles waking up, like, oh, again. Um, so sometimes being tired is not because we are, uh, like, overweight or bigger than we should be. It can also be uh, you're not healthy in the inside, the blood circulation, your heart a lot a lot of issues uh, so um even like skinny people can be really like do not want to do anything it's just because they don't have energy the body is not generating it's not moving the the engine is not running they can't even move there's no 
fuel because the fuel is supposed to be our food because food is either a fuel to our body or a toxic slowly killing us or slowly firing you up that is why this the the protein smoothies is one day uh, uh, once a day has been really uh, a game changer because i feel that being small being like petite but i still feel tired <laughs> but you know what thing that helped me every day the fish you can't really see it though they maybe you have it with you it's inside um, no i don't have it prepared unfortunately. this is an alkaline um alkaline like a healthy gatorade but there's no color no extra extra chemicals and it. it's just ginseng guarana it is amazing and that this one i drink every day uh it helped me for my that energy boost calm and alkalinizing my body too so th this is something that's not smoothie but i'm drinking every day as well okay so we're gonna keep going and i'm not gonna call you too much hosiana since i noticed that you are driving we'll be more careful about that uh so I, i'm not driving i'm passengers but uh, Annette is ah, okay okay yeah. i was not sure if you were driving <laughs> okay so perfect then we have to talk about the constipation the dark circles and the eyes the decrease metabolism, the depression, disturbed sleep, elevated LDL, reduced HDL. Okay, go ahead, Dorothy. Unmute yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I was trying to make a statement. Uh, I'm going to take you a little bit backward for the decreased metabolism. Okay. Like, as, like I told you uh, before, when um, I had the surgery, a lot of things had uh, changed in my body. So mm -hmm. I, 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 my body was not functioning like it used to. A lot of things had changed. So my metabolism was very slow. That's the reason why, even though the things that I used to do to lose weight, I was not able to do that anymore because of the slow metabolism. And it was a big issue for me. So that's one thing that I suffered from as uh, so well as uh, um, uh disturbed sleep oh goodness i used to did not sleep i had to start taking sleep pills sleeping pills mm -hmm. um you know they're not the normal dose i would take it and it's, it got to a point where it wasn't working i started increasing the doses i started increasing and it got to a point i saw that i was getting so addicted to sleep uh, pills I said, this is not good for me, you know. I, I'm trying to take care of one thing and then I'm spoiling many different ones. So I had to stop taking the, the sleep, sleep aid. I just had to go. Sometimes I would be awake all night, you know. If I sleep two hours, three hours, that's a lot for the day. And, you know, when you don't sleep at night, you get tired all day. You feel sluggish. You feel just disoriented. So that's one thing that I was, I was going through. But since I started using my amazing smoothie products, I do not feel all those things anymore. So thank God I found myself this amazing smoothie <laughs> re regimen. Yes. Thank you for that. We have Rosemary who joined us. Thank you for being here, watching us live. So the, the next one would be, um, we have the disturbed sleep. We just mentioned that. Excessive facial blood vessels excessive sweating, fatty liver, fibromyalgia, uh, I don't know how to say that. Fibromyalgia. Uh, thank you. Yes. Yes. sensitivities. disease, gallstones, hemorrhoids, hot flashes, hypoglycemia. Oh, you wanna, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh, see, I got a lot going on. Go I had a lot, a lot going on. Ever. Yeah. Hot flashes. Like I said, when I had the surgery, my whole system got messed up. So it's uh, oh, something... a great job. Thank you, Hospital, for saying that. Go ahead, Dorothy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so a lot of things were messed up. But right now, like I told you, it's this my smoothie regimen has been a miracle. God knows it's been a miracle because so many conditions that I was I was facing I don't I don't go I don't experience them anymore. Yeah. It was a big issue for me. But thank God now everything is in the past. Awesome. 
And then uh, we had uh, hemorrhoids, we had hot flashes, hypoglycemia, inability to lose weight. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, a lot of, like a lot of things that will circle around the same thing, you know. Um, like I said before, losing weight was easier for me before, but it got to a point after a certain period where some things changed in my body. Weight loss was a big struggle. It, it took me forever to lose weight, even doing the things that I would normally do to lose weight. So that was a big problem that I, I, I was fighting with. But so far, um, I am on the right track. Awesome. Yes. Anything you want to add, Rosie? Um, I slow with gain. It's something that happens to almost everybody. I believe if you're like at my age. Um, yes, it happened to me too. And, and the sad thing is, it doesn't happen overnight. It happened just very, very little uh, over the over the years usually. So. Um, this can always be stopped at the early age. So if anybody is now watching and you feel like, I think I'm like half a pound heavier, or just the feeling of heavier, it means that some things need to be done. So you don't go into that, 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 that slide, you know, go down and you can't even stop it. So because that is what happened to people who had uh, slow weight gain. It was me because uh, after my, um, my, second, my second babies, I feel like, slowly but I, it, I was so powerless because i don't know what to do uh, it doesn't mean that uh, overweight people they are lazy or they do not want to take care of themselves sometimes it's just about it's just because they do not know where to start and a lot mm. of us only think i'm just going to eat less and exercise more and i'm going to be healthy or going to lose weight it is really more than that it is not only that that is probably less than five percent so a, at least 80% is really what we eat because it's going to work on every level of your human body's function, brain, guts, you know, eliminations, organs, everything. So it, and it all start with nutrition. It all start with the food that we eat. Um, so as I mentioned, like I like to eat, you know, heavy breakfast and like the whole day. So that, that is like what I know my whole life, right? I need to change that. And that's why I just didn't know that about this protein shake. So mm -hmm. how I really wish somebody told me earlier that it's so easy, so simple mm -hmm. to do, and it's so good for our body, then it will not happen uh, that slow weight gain because then this is like a stop sign. Okay, stop. So at least if you can do one, one, one time a day, you're really going to feel that you're not gaining weight anymore. You're probably going to be stagnant. And by time, mm -hmm. if you really do that exercise and uh, reduce the calories, not to stop yourself, you actually get to lose the weight that your body doesn't need. So that would be the best, healthiest uh, uh, way to get to, to your to body, which is your ideal weight, healthy BMI, not skinny, but slim. Uh, not, not slim, sorry. Tone and fit. That's mm -hmm. the word. Fit and tone. So you need to do some kind of like um, uh, cardiovascular or a little bit of weight training. But that's supposed to be the way, and I know it's painful. It, it takes time, but really, the best the best time to start is today. Oh no, it's the best time today is ten years ago probably. The second <laughs> best time is today. Okay, so no okay. excuse because believe me, I was one of them. I start Monday, the Monday never come. I go back tomorrow, <laughs> the tomorrow never come, never come, and usually it, it comes at the doctor's office when they say cholesterol, too much this. Yeah. Uh, this one, that one, stage four, stage three, whatever. That will be too late. Not too late. You're still alive. So it's never too late. So home, sorry about that. It's never too late. Um, so start, mm -hmm. no matter how your heart condition or whether where you are in your life. But this today, we learn something simple. Get on Absolutely. board. It's so fun. <laughs> so we have uh, Mikael who joined us. Mikael Burks. Uh, thank you for watching. And we had Yvonne. Uh, Miles, who join us also. Thank you for being here. So I'm going to keep going on the list. Let me fit you. And uh, thank you for being here, guys. And happy smoothie hour. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. So now I'm going to talk about, we talk about the um, inability to lose weight, indigestion, 
inflammation, intolerance to alcohol, intolerance to fatty foods. Okay, go ahead, Oti. <laughs> what did the intolerance. food change in your life? <laughs> yeah, intolerance to alcohol. My system doesn't go well with alcohol at all. Oh, like, tell us all about it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am that person. If I take, you know, I most of times I will take a glass of wine when I'm home. That way I know because when I'm a little on the other side, I will laugh a lot. <laughs> Yes, so that's how I know that the alcohol is getting into my system. I will laugh so, so much. So you have I, I stop drinking alcohol when I'm out of the house because I don't want to be laughing and people look at me and go like, oh, is she turning into a fool or something? So <laughs> I have very little tolerance of alcohol, which uh, to me is not a bad thing. But, you know, sometimes people will not understand the reason why I just burst out and start laughing for no reason. <laughs> it's because I have very low tolerance of alcohol. So um, I didn't know that was an issue. But uh, if it's a condition, then I'm happy I have one because I don't have to indulge in drinking. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then we have intolerance to fatty foods, irritable bowel syndrome, itchy skin, joint pain, low libido, menopausal <laughs> symptoms. Oh, <laughs> go ahead, Oti. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> my husband is going to kill me. <laughs> well, I will skip that for now, but that's something that I... I no, I, no, I, no, um... no, 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 no. You can it. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you know, when you your body doesn't... You know, sometimes it's... um um I'll call it... um um. Your your sense your body your sensitivity to your body. You are aware that you you don't look the way you want to look, so it affects a whole lot of things. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you yes, if you feel like your self esteem is not where you need it to be, it has so many things that it, it, it affects. So that's one thing that I would say. Um, even though it's it's a difficult topic to talk about, um, I'm just gonna say this out loud. Yeah, when your body is not um the way you want it, your shape. It has so many uh, negative effects on your body. So I am guilty of that. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. I hope it's going to help someone. Absolutely. And, then we... <laughs> and, and also the, the uh, menopausal symptoms. That is one thing that I'm going, I'm, I'm dealing with right now. Like I said, I had a, a hysterectomy and um, a whole lot was got messed up. So uh, it's... um. Yeah, I can see them all in the line. Mood swing as well added to that. It's uh, it's something that I don't, you know, when my mom used to go through these things, I would ask myself, why is she so angry all the time? Why is she Ooh. so, one time she'll be happy, the next minute she's just, get out of here. I don't want to see anybody beside me. Oh, I'm hot, I'm cold. And so it's, <laughs> I did not understand mm -hmm. then. But right now I really do appreciate because guess my mother had seven of us. My mother has seven children. Dealing with all that and then going through what uh, she was going through at the time and was still okay, taking care of us, taking care of her husband who was always a patient and doing everything in between. I give so much respect to my mother yeah. for that, you know, because mm -hmm. I have four, three younger ones. Sometimes I feel like I want to just pull my hair off my head because oh. I get it's it's so it's it's so frustrating they feel you don't know how to 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 put their feelings to words you know so it's a it's a big issue that women are going through and unfortunately we don't talk about them too much you know it's something that people really need to be aware of that is a condition that they can that, that can be treated um not just by medication by just a lifestyle change diet change and just I think do a, few we should have a, yes. a special day you come back and we're going to discuss that more thoroughly and go in depth and discuss Absolutely. that subject because i think it's Absolutely. not uh, well talked about and something are yes like hiding it and you need yes. to express it and move forward i think it's a conversation we have to have so we have to have yes. another appointment and discuss more thoroughly about that so i'm yes, going to start you already mentioned the mood swing, so I'm going to move next to the muscle eye aches, uh, nausea and vomiting, overheating, the pain over the liver, the PMS, uh, which I don't know. Hussein, if you could tell us what is the PMS, because I don't know what is it. I did not have time to do research on this. 
PMS is a post premenstrual syndrome. PMS. So we yes, 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 like, yes, yes. You You're like right. Yes, booty. Yes. And, you, and like everything is everything is bigger than it should be. Even like you can see your face is like big. Uh, bloated it is just hormonal usually mm -hmm. uh, so by doing by doing a lifestyle change it's gonna help you a lot so you're not that uh, moody because like oh you mm -hmm. said PMS <laughs> so okay. you blame it on PMS if you're not nice uh, you just want to you want to call somebody <laughs> okay I'm a PMS just stay away from me so yeah <laughs> that is that it will be the one <laughs> I yeah do you want to add something to the PMS yeah, I you know I I don't I don't I don't have the condition as you all know, but I have I have daughters I have uh, daughters okay. at home who usually go through that period, so I feel really feel bad for them. They they are twins when I say them, so I I really feel bad for them because when they go through that that those days of the week uh, of the month, it, it's really uncomfortable for them. I feel for them, but that's unfortunately something that I, I cannot help them with. But I understand what's go, what they go through, and and I do appreciate the, the the fact that they can be able to express it. You know, us growing up, I grew up in Africa. You know, most of times you feel those things, but you don't express them out. You just you just grind through them and let them go by, and uh, let nature take cause of it, uh, take a, a, a effect of it. So. Uh, those things, uh, we went through them, but I never put it into words. I thought I knew it was just okay because I was expecting my period within this time period. I just like, this is something that I have to deal with. So I never put anything to it. But when I hear my daughters talk about it and they express the way they're feeling, it brings me back to that time. And I can appreciate now I can put meaning to the way I was feeling. Also, is it something we should have like another show where we discuss about the EMS more in detail and share experiences and yes. say how the lifestyle could change that uh, kind of feeling and make you feel lighter and easier in life? Yes, I'm just taking, I'm just writing down some of the points that we, we need to talk about. So that way I, I, I can do, do my, yeah, yeah. Our, that way I can do my research. Yeah, already. So I'm going to go next. After PMS, we have poor concentration. Pot belly. I don't know what you mean by pot belly. Oceana, what's pot belly? Pot, pot belly would be the big, big belly. Yeah, they yeah. just big belly. That's what they go. Okay. <laughs> and how does it help the pot belly? I'm curious. <laughs> how does well, it help? Most, most men or wom women too, they have like a protruding uh, front belly and uh, and the stomach they have like they're pregnant but they're not pregnant they're not pregnant yes no. it's like you have six yeah. months pregnant and you are waiting when the baby is going to be delivered and yes. never happened <laughs> uh oh we lost her yeah probably because she's on the road maybe she's gonna come yeah, back yeah the the uh, network i'm sure yeah probably and then so we talk about the pot belly, the wake on headache Headache, uh, yes. Recur yeah, reoccurring headache. I used to suffer from migraine. Lots of, oh. lots of migraine. I'll have migraine two, three times a week. Wow. It was, yes, it's bad. It was How bad. I used to suffer life with the migraine. Say that again? After having two migraine a week, how do you cope with your life? I mean, how do you keep going with the kids it was and everything? Very it was very challenging it was very difficult sometimes i would not even i would not talk about it because you know my kids are very sensitive they 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 they, they if i'm feeling bad they're feeling bad you know mm -hmm. that's how much uh sensitive my kids are they are very concerned they have they, they, they are very concerning they want to know if you are not feeling okay they, they they have some attachment to it so it's when I'm going through those pains, sometimes I don't even tell them because I don't want to mess up. I don't want to uh, spoil their mood. So I just have to grind in between the pain and deal with them. But it was very uncomfortable. Imagine having migraines and, and studying for exams and going to school. It was yeah. very difficult. I, that was some the challenge that I had to go through every day. Sometimes I would say, maybe I want to quit, you know, but I can't because my kids are looking up to me you know i have people looking at looking uh, uh for uh, look look at me like oh uh, she is someone i'm looking for 
looking at for like a, a, an, a, like an example, like a role model, like a, a mother figure. So I had to set the pace to be like, you know, I have to push myself through. If I want my, if I want to make my kids study, if I want to let them accomplish something, I have to show them how to do it myself. So I will have to grind through them in between, go to work, sometimes sick, sometimes I, it's, it was difficult, you know, but as a mother, you just have to do what you have to do to keep your family happy. Sure. Oh. So I'm going to keep going on. Uh, thank you for sharing for that. It's really interesting because I'm learning yeah. things too, because I'm not used to certain condition. I'm like, wow, I'm just learning. And that's good to know. Yeah. That that's that. that's yes. amazing. To know that yes. Yes. I'm telling three you. Months. Yes. Because After three my months. months. Mm -hmm. In my yes. case, I started I was in 2015 and I decided to do the cure. Like, I mean, doing it seriously. And uh, I used to be the person who doesn't, really believe into proteins, to be honest. Vegan protein, I was like, no, I would never use it. Why would I need vegan protein? It's just for people who are lifting. And I'm not lifting, so why would I need those protein to add muscles? And I was thinking, no, 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 that's so not me. I'm not really into it. And then I started using it, and I had one of my... Um, uh, the reason why I wanted was to, get, of course, keep healthy and everything and keep my muscle, the structure. But also I wanted to jump higher. You know those pictures where you jump. I put sure you saw it on yes. my uh, profile. <laughs> so I yes. wanted to jump the highest possible, and I was like, I need to have that muscle. I have to have the structure I need to jump because I don't want to jump yeah, and jump. then feel bad because, like, uh, I don't know if you saw one of the show. Lisa was saying she jumped. She had her knee issue, and she was so hurt. She never pretended that she was hurt. She just acted that like everything was okay. But the picture was nice and she was happy, but she had a few weeks where she was feeling her knee was feeling not okay. Feeling the pain, yes. Yeah, and she yeah. was in pain, never showed it. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure everything was okay. So I like yes. the fact that on top of the smoothie, we have the book coming soon. And this show is going to be something we're going to use also to show that the smoothie is something. And I heard also, and we see some messages, people asking me, what's the smoothie? Because guess what? We are talking a lot about the smoothie, but what is a smoothie? Many people don't even know what's the smoothie. And someone told me, I want to have my shake. Guess what? They just put the powder and the water and they mix it. And they were like, it doesn't it. taste. Yeah, that's not a smoothie. That's just a protein shake with water. That's a protein yeah. drink. <laughs> that's so a protein I, drink. Yeah, I yes. have to explain. You have to buy a blender, use the blender, put the fruits in it, add the powder, yes. put the butter. <laughs> It's a few minutes. It was funny, but that's how it is. So you have to kind of educate also people about that. It's not just the water, the powder you order and you mix it and you drink it. That's not how it works. You have to add those foods. That's why we have this smoothie hour, happy smoothie hour, where we share what we put in the, inside of our smoothies. We have the book. We have many people contributing. I hope, Dorothy, you're going to join and send us a few Absolutely. of your Absolutely. I have to. So we're going yes, to have that. And we share also it. have big. I also have videos where I do my smoothies, you know. I have oh, my co video collections where I do my smoothies because, like you said, many people. Yes, I will. I definitely will. And because, like you put said, it in note, send it to me by messenger. I'll check them. And yes. also, uh, we have also people giving feedbacks and commenting, which is great. So, any kind of. Uh, disease you have a condition you would like to share and discuss feel free to comment or message me and then we're going to keep going we have uh, talked about the recurrent headaches thank you Dorothy for sharing your experience about that and the uh, wet palms and sores uh, the wet swollen itchy eyes rosacea yellow discoloration of eyes slow digestion yes slow okay, digestion yeah, I, I used to have that slow digestion, the bloating and stuff like that. It all contributes to that. You know, you eat a few hours after, maybe two, three hours after, you still feel, if you burp, you feel like you just finished eating, you know? Wow. I used to, yes, I used to, I, that's part of the, you know, I those things started happening. I said, you know what, maybe I don't, I just have to stop eating. I said to myself one time, I said, maybe I just have to stop eating. Because, because if I don't eat, stop eating. <laughs> yeah, I can't stop eating. And somebody will look at me and go like, oh my gosh, she's not taking care of herself. Look, they will see how she looks. But you, you, people, you won't understand what I'm dealing with. Because if you see someone outwardly, you don't know what's going on inside of them. So 
uh, that's something that I was suffering from. That uh, um, um, it's what I called. Don't compare my chapter to your chapter. We are not on the same chapter of each life. It's yes. easy for you to be on a chapter thirtieth, and I'm on chapter fifty, and you think I am on your same chapter. It doesn't work that way. You can't just Absolutely. stand there and judge the book from the cover. And then yes. we talk about the slow, slow digestion, the sugar cravings. Mm -hmm. Did you have the sugar cravings once you stopped? I, I stopped craving for sugar since I, I started using my, my, my doing my smoothies. I stopped mm -hmm. craving sugar. Like I said, I will, I used to love to drink coffee and I like my coffee sweet. Wow. But guess what? I don't crave that anymore. If I want to drink coffee right now, I will say maybe like a week or after, maybe two weeks after I'll take a small uh, cup of uh, coffee. Like I had a, a cup of coffee yesterday, just a small one. You know, the smaller mm -hmm. size of teacup. I just say, you know, let me just reward myself after all this long period of time I've been drink, without uh, drinking coffee. I just took a small cup of coffee, but I did not put the, the cream and the sugar like I normally used to do because I don't crave those anymore. My, right now, my kids are like, mom, what happened to your sugar craving? You don't eat sh uh, sugary stuff anymore. And I tell them, yeah, because I'm into a, je uh, uh, um, into a journey of uh, replace changing my lifestyle. I want to be healthy. So um I, I don't crave sugar anymore like i used to so thank god for this my amazing amazing uh, lifestyle change of diet with the smoothies awesome and i have to yes. add something to it in my case i'm not craving for sugar at all and ask me where's the sugar i don't even know maybe it's expired i can't tell you i am so not into sugar at all the only thing i use to have sweetness in my smoothies or sweetness in my coffee eventually when i have one is uh, as a maple syrup or a honey. I love having some honey too. So if I feel like that's something I am craving for and I want it really sweet, I go for it. And like on my smoothie today, I had some cherries also give you that sweetness to it. Or I, I choose the fruits that are gonna give me that sugary taste. Like, you know those small bananas called bananitos? They are just sugary enough. You know those small bananas, they are really good in the smoothie. And I have those ones, they are full of sugar and you don't need to add extra sugar to it then give you this amazing taste in your smoothies. So that's you know, what one other, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know one other thing too that's good? I use uh, dates, uh, uh, dried yeah, dates. I use dates too, yeah. yes. I use dried dates I too. Add to it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know, I have so many different recipes. I just, I'll give you this one today because it's what I'm having. I have a whole list of uh, different recipes of my smoothies that I make. Yeah. Every day is a different recipe. When I, I, I just sometimes I just wake up and I said, oh, what am I going to do? today for my smoothies. Let me add a little twist. I just put this, put that. And what I do is when I'm putting them, I'm recording it down. That way I know if they taste that's and then what, I know what I, I added. Have. That's how I yes. have my book. You're on the good yes. part. You just have to collect all the smoothies you have. The best people would say your, your kids or your husband, I love this one. And you have so many samba for that. Just go for yes. it. And that's how I started the smoothie. And my next project is going to be 365 smoothies. It's going to be on a daily basis. Oh, Luciana is back. I'm going to add you. Uh, Luciana is back. Welcome back. And my next happy smoothie uh, book, Luciana, you never heard this. This is the, um, <laughs> the first time I'm going to talk about this live. The next uh, smoothie project book going to be 365 smoothies. So it's going to be a daily basis of smoothies where we share every single day a new smoothie recipe and then you could enjoy it and have this project going. And Dorothy, you are welcome to join and add some smoothies in it. And then it's going yes. to be a book. And in the book, you have the 360 smoothies, a big collaboration. Everybody who trusts and believes in this uh, aptitude of having these smoothies, helping you, changing your life, is feel welcome to come. And if you have somebody who might be a good add to it, feel free to add them. And I know Lisa, her daughter also is really into it. I hope she's gonna be willing to share. And I know Annette's daughter also is really into smoothies. Maybe she's gonna be willing to add. Anyway, we are welcome to all contribution and I'm gonna make it a 360 smoothies. So I'm pretty sure out of 360 smoothies, you can't tell me there is no smoothie recipe that's not for me. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, and, <laughs> no yeah. excuse. And Hosea already is contributing. She sent me two smoothies for this book. So instead of being 40 smoothies, I think it's going to be around 45 smoothies so far. Yes, because I also have some recipes that I'm going to share with you. 
Oh, okay. So it's going to be probably a 50 recipe. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. And then to finish, uh, Luciana, you missed some few, but that's okay. We're talking about rosacea, yellow discoloration of eyes, slow digestion. And Dorothy just shared a little bit about her slow digestion issues. We have sugar craving. So we we're just talking about that. And I was talking about the fact that I even don't know where is my sugar. I can't tell. I know I have a small bag somewhere, but I can't tell if it's expired and if it's good. I have no idea. It's somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I'm no longer into the sugar thing for a really long time. And I, the next uh, one is skin washes. And then the type 2 diabetes and weight gain. Yeah, um, weight gain, that's a big issue for me. So, And that's part of the reason why I decided to start doing the smoothies so I can get my weight under control. Yeah. Because um, my family is, uh, we have a history of diabetes in my family. So I am very much aware of the fact that um, I can easily run into, uh, I can easily be a victim. One second. Ustina, could you text Annette the link? She seems to have trouble joining us since we started almost okay. an hour. Okay, give me a moment. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, do you want to keep going? Sorry about yeah, that. so like I said, it's all right. So like I said, um, uh, uh, type 2 diabetes runs in my family. So I know weight gain is one of the biggest uh, things that contribute to to, to um, type 2 diabetes. So I, was, I am very much aware of the fact that um, if I don't do something to my health, I can easily, easily run into the problem because I know what my dad went through. Yes, that it was alive. My dad was diabetic for 30, 35 years. So I know how he suffered. I knew how much he suffered, how difficult it was for him to control his diabetes. Sometimes not being in a, in a, a, a position where you have a emergency uh, a health um, um, uh, care where he would just run into if he has a, um, a, an episode. So I understand. I know how difficult it was for him. I'm trying my best to not go to that point. And part of it is the weight gain. So knowing that I can do something now to prevent uh, me from being the, uh, a victim of diabetes, it's why, part of the reason why I ended up doing this. You know, it's a journey. It's a lifestyle change, you know. It's not a quick fix, like uh, Rosiana said. It's not a quick fix. You have to be able to put in the work and give it some time to get the results. So I am well on my way to be able to take care of all that problem. So I don't become a victim. Awesome. And would you like to have a, a talk, like as a family of diabetes, how you experienced the diabetes, like how you saw your dad going through it? Uh, we yes. could have another talk show where we discuss the diabetes and have some people who already use the, di the, the smoothies and were able to be out of their pills. Because we have some, uh, some of our team members who use the smoothies for years and now they are out of their pills. That's yes. Amazing. Yeah. Yes. You know, like like I'm saying, um, in this smoothie uh, uh, lifestyle change, it's not just me who's doing it. My whole family is doing it. Even though everybody in my household is okay. fit, thank God for that. Um, my husband, my children are all fit. I'm the only one who is on the other side. So uh, even but though you are, white part. <laughs> you are on the other side, but you are on the white. Yeah. Part. I'm doing the best I can so I can join them on the other side. And one thing I was trying to say is this, my brother, my junior brother with whom we are in the same state together, we are, he is very fit, but because he knows that we have the history, he's been doing a whole lot for himself to take care of, um, not to become victims. So all of us children of my parents, we are very much aware that we could be victims. So everybody's doing something to help them. My brother, who is here, he too is doing the smoothie uh, uh, diet. He, he is very fit, very fit, because guess what? He knows what what uh, what not to expect. He knows what to do to not get to become a victim. So he too is on the, the healthy lifestyle change. So, um, yes. <laughs> and hopefully... Yes, not just my, my media family, you know, um, the, my product that I, I have, I have a few other family friends who are also joining me in the healthy lifestyle change. So little by little, day by day, the, the family is growing bigger. And before you know it, God willing, my community will be um, joining me in my healthy smoothie lifestyle change. 
Awesome, that's great. And okay. also, uh, before I forget, before you go, uh, I need a little kind of uh, presentation of who you are and how did you kind of change your lifestyle from all the disease and condition and everything you face. How did you end up into having a smoothie, like a small paragraph where you express all those stuff. So it's going to be easier for people to know how you get into it and then how you get those smoothies. It's going to be helpful. I think I can you just me? say that she is on the backstage. She's here. Oh, yeah. Can I you just see? saw her. Yes, uh, Rusty and I are going to have to have you off or Dorothy. Uh, Dorothy, do you want a little break? Because we were here from the beginning. I, yeah. uh, I think minutes. I am reaching my destination. Oh, you are reaching. So I, might... I want you to say welcome yeah, to And Annette. also, the internet is uh, not good. So at, at, at any time, I can be cut off because we are in the... Oh. And then Dorothy, in, we want, just know. want to welcome <laughs> in, in the wetland for one or two minutes yeah. before Utsiana is going down. Say that again. Yeah. Yeah. I said I'm going to have you for two minutes off Hi. and yeah. then go back on. Okay. Oh no, it's okay. It's working. Hi. I could have you. All Hi. of you and the Welcome, We have to tell you, Anne is here for the sound effect, yes. and you don't want to miss she this thing. There. She's gonna oh. read the poetry. She's awesome, and you want to attend that. You don't want to miss that thing. And if you are watching yes. live, you don't want to miss that thing. If you are watching, okay. today, enjoy. And we have to welcome Annette. She's our new member of our team. So who's gonna? You join me. Hi, you join me. Hello. 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 Yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but it's all being cut off. There's no internet. Yeah, so Luciana, sorry if you are cut, we understand. Welcome, Annette. Join me to say welcome for her. Welcome. Oh, Annette, <laughs> welcome, you. welcome, welcome. <laughs> that's so nice. Well, uh, Doty, uh, Annette just joined our team yesterday. So that's why we are welcome, welcoming her today. It's her special welcome. We're supposed to have it at 10. But unfortunately, she wasn't able to make it at 10 Easter time. So we are doing it now during the live. So happy smoothie, Annette. And if you could tell us what's in your smoothie. I drank most of it. I've oh. been watching the show. <laughs> but it, it was delicious. Um, I've what got kiwis it? in there. I used kiwis for the first time because mm -hmm. I had some kiwis and I hadn't used them. Kiwis, mangoes. I love my mangoes. Being from the Caribbean, love my mango. Um, Kiwis, mangoes. I've got some blueberries in there, mm -hmm. some strawberries, and of wow. course some almond milk. Wow! And it's I'm just delicious. almond milk. I have almost the same without the kiwi here. Uh -huh. uh, the cherry. I add the cherry on it. Yeah. Cheers. Nice color as well. Cheers. Thank you. And you have the glasses. Thank you for having the glasses. Same one. <laughs> It kind of look the same. <laughs> yeah. You want to have the same glasses? All of us, it's going to be more yeah. interesting. So I, I think I, no. I have one of those, but it's red. So I have to get a clear one. <laughs> yeah, get one, get one. Get one. <laughs> yeah, I have to get a clear one. Uh -oh. okay. I borrowed it from my daughter. She um she collects all these lovely glasses. So yeah, I and I was her, asking, so. uh, Anna, if you could make us a special smoothie and we're going to add it to the book before it's launched. If Ooh. you could have one or two recipes, and if your daughter want to join also, I'm more than happy to have her. And then we're going to add her into the smoothie book. Okay. Okay. If she can join this one, the next one going to be the 365 smoothie. It's going to be a 365 smoothie where you have a daily smoothie. And I think it's going to be harder to say, I don't want the smoothie or I don't find one I like. After will, you be, will you put her name there? Will her name yeah. go there? It's going to be her name and a little presentation of her. Uh, would, because you want to know book, is, would her name be in the book if she puts a smoothie recipe in just as a matter yeah. of interest yes it's going to be like you remember for your poetry you have the poetry yeah. and you have your name so you have your okay. signature it's going okay. to be to her and you have the name next to it oh that would be nice i'll, I'll tell her see what she says <laughs> and if you have one or two of your own it's going to be added as well so it was oh. supposed to be around 30 smoothies we are now heading to 45 and Dorothy going to send us also few of them so we're gonna have more and more and more it's growing i've, in, and I've enjoyed and listening to um, <laughs> what dorothy had to say about the different uh conditions and um and just listening to all the different conditions and it was yeah, very it was interesting. interesting is there one you want to discuss annette because i can't go back with everything is there one condition you want to talk about 
Um, no, I'm just going to um, see for me if I can um, manage, help, use them to help me to manage weight. That would be really good. Mm -hmm. And um, the proof is in the pudding. This is how I started <laughs> off. We're going to see. Um, awesome. So you would like to know just about the weight, uh, the weight gain? That's the only one you would like yeah. to add? Well, I've so got you tell us right now, live. Yeah. Uh, what's the weight gain? What's your objective from now on? So we're going to discuss my, maybe... My, my objective would be to, um, yeah, if I can reduce the weight, that would be great because then everything else, um, I haven't, you know, I'm not massively overweight, thank God, but I but I could definitely do with some, losing some. Okay. Um, it, it's not a huge problem, but, um, but I would like to reduce... Um, because I was a, a skinny little thing um, when I when I started out mm -hmm. um, years ago, back in the day, before motherhood, all those things. Um, so it would be nice to to reduce a bit. Um, um, and um, I've done some reducing, but I could do some more, um, and that would that would be really good. Yeah, and I'm good. And uh, you know, if you can do it by, if this can help, this tastes good <laughs> every day. Then that's all good. Awesome. <laughs> So, Annette, uh, all the stage is all yours. If you could read us a poetry with the sound effects. We're just waiting for that. <laughs> well, okay. I can read one that's in the book, the one that I put in the book, or I can leave the yes. book, that one for a surprise for people. Or I can no, I think it's a good um, pre-sell thing, so they know what's going to happen. They have an idea and they have the show to add to it. Okay. And don't even um, get to know you because it's the first time you met. And yeah, she absolutely. doesn't know anything. She's just surprised because I never told her you would, would be here. So she's okay. surprised and she's game and uh, she's going to discover about your book and Spectrum. So if you could quickly tell us about, I mean, tell Dorothy also okay. about you. Well, I've been, very you. much enjoyed listening to Dorothy. I've just been spent, spent most of my morning trying to get on, but it was fabulous. Yeah, she spent an you. hour to join. Because <laughs> I'm new and, um, um, you know, I'm just starting on this journey, so I can't wait to see if I have some of those issues, some of those gains that you, you know, uh, benefits. That would be wonderful. That would be wonderful. So it was, it was fascinating Thank listening to you, Dorothy. Thank um, you. Thank you very much, Annette. Yes, it was, it was fascinating. Um, right. My book is um, called Spectrum. Mm -hmm. It's a book of poetry um, that um, uh, I self-published um, in um just in may so it was just through um when we were go all going through covid 19. Yeah. so it's called spectrum it's available on amazon um but it's also available uh from me um you know you can email me um on annette payment at yahoo.co.uk um mm -hmm. if you want to get it directly from me um sometimes that's better but uh, whatever people like it's a book about identity. Um, I wrote about identity, black identity, really. Um, but there are lots of other types. It's about nature, the climate, um, you know. So there's, you know, it's just about life as a black person, really. As a, in my case, as a black woman. Um, so it's mostly about race and identity. And that's been quite interesting because of what's happened recently um, in the world with Black Lives Matter. So I was doing this before um, the Black Lives Matter, um, Black Lives Matter was there, of course they were there, but before we had um, the, the, all, the, the very sad situation with um, George Floyd, um, I was writing mm -hmm. about um, race and identity. So, um, so, there's, so there's that. Um, so yeah, I published it in May and that was one of the reasons why I was able to meet up with Ndeye because she was on a, a writing work, work um, website and that's when I came across, that's when I met her for the first time and then I found out mm -hmm. about the smoothies. Um, and I was drinking smoothies before on and off and my daughter did encourage me and I was kind of lazy, <laughs> didn't sort of, you know, I just thought it was a young people thing, you know, what's she doing? Um, but then I tried it and I thought this is nice and it's she nice me, yes and, and I was lazy she was always making them for me and I would just to be lazy and drinking them um and then I thought let me make, 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 make myself and then when I met Andrea, yeah. she said and I have to add something to it Annette uh you remember the other day you inspired me with the whole bow huh Sorry. the other day you told me you had a smoothie with the whole bow 
Oh, yes. yes Guess what? Yes. I made a lot of smoothie now with the rhubarb. And even today I had a little bit of rhubarb. And yeah. I used to say it was really sour, but guess what? It's really good. What is that? I don't think sauce. I know that. Nobody the was more bar? surprised than me. Nobody was I, 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 I didn't, I never it's... wanted to have it. It's usually mixed with strawberry pie. You have rhubarb strawberry pie. Wow. Okay. And I never thought of having the rhubarb uncooked uh, and having it that raw in the smoothie. And, and I told me she had that blueberry and rhubarb. I was like, um, and then uh, Rusiana said she wanted a sour smoothie. And yesterday, yeah. I think I nailed it. I had just rhubarb, strawberries, and ginger. Oh, the ginger. Oh, that, that seems as though it would be nice. I've got oh, to add spices. Just, yeah, just, uh, just the root one, you know, the fresh one. And it was okay. just sour, the sourness I wanted. And then I had um, some friends, they wanted some spa, some... Um, kind of uh, margarita. I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure if I mix the, swa the, the strawberries, the rhubarb, and the ginger, it's going to be sour enough. And that's the sourness you want from the margarita. Add exactly yeah. the ingredient of margarita to that would be perfect. They were just loving it. You had the sourness. You had everything you wanted out of it. And if you don't like the, the alcohol, you could just maybe have a teaspoon or something like that. That's it. Mm. Just to sparkle the ginger one. And it was based on what you told me about the rhubarb. So thank you so much. It's well, inspired me. The rhubarb, I'll tell you about the rhubarb. Because of COVID-19, because of the lockdown, all mm -hmm. the all the not all the mixed berries, they were gone. The mango, there was a little bit, there was one packet of mango. So I was able to grab a packet of mango, but that was all that was left. This is during lockdown, but rhubarb was left. There was lots of rhubarb. So and don't you have a picture of it and the, the Lucy recipe, you could add it. And it's really cheap, rhubarb. It's uh I don't think it's, I, I go and get it myself. So it's a cost zero, but I don't think it's that expensive to go buy it. Or you could just go so, and collect yourself in boots and I'll, stuff like I'll, that. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I would never probably have tried it, but it was the only thing left frozen. In yeah, the you shop. didn't have so I much really, choice, really, but it was really, really a good idea. Make, mm -hmm. I really wanted yeah. to make yeah. a smoothie. So I thought, oh, this is not going to be very nice. And I was surprised. I was very surprised. It, somehow when you, when you, when you, uh, make it into a smoothie. It does. It doesn't taste that kind of you know taste that we have. That tart, strong kind of uh, taste. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm glad that you tried it and you liked it. But I've got to. Yeah, try I love it. I've got to do my, put the ginger in like you do. Fresh ginger. Yeah. And did you yeah. get the dates last time we talk about the dates? Because Dorothy also used a lot of the dates. Yeah, I use dates to to add to my smoothie. I went. To did my you try it, Annette? Store. I went to my local store. And okay. um, I was looking, looking, looking. And I think I have to go to a more specialist store. Or maybe oh, I need they don't to have ask something. Okay. They couldn't see it because I think I must try the dates. So I'm, I'm yeah, looking forward to that. Most really of times you get it from the Whole Food. Whole Food. Whole, yeah, Whole yeah. Food. That's where I got mine. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm going to definitely like to get the organic that. one. Yeah. Oh, you could order it online maybe. Mm -hmm. So is it a fresh one? Is it a fresh, the fresh date? <laughs> yes, no, dry. Um, no, for me, it's a fresh one with the seed in it. Yeah, you'd have to. But you can use the dry one too. Yeah, I'm just, just, just a minute. I'm going to show you how it look like the one that I'm using. Okay. Yeah. My, you my daughter's it bringing it for me. Dry dates. Yes, they have it dried. Uh -huh. And it lasts long, you know, because uh, one of the dates I'm using it was bought last year, and it's over a year, and it's not expiring. It's like. Um, uh, which one is the same? I think some ginger don't expire too. Yeah, that's something like oh. that. Can you hold a bit closer? The reflect of your light doesn't allow us to see. So. Yeah. So, oh, no, you can't dry. It. So you just chop. Yeah, no, I just I open it. Let me show you how it looks like. Yes. So it comes like this, and then it has this. What I do, I just crack it open. And you and take, out, take out the seed and then just put this in the blender and blend okay. it with yes that must make a creamy kind of taste yeah it makes yeah. it creamy and it has a good taste so oh. instead of using sugar or using sweetener i use the dates instead and i've got sweet tooth so that would yeah. be good that would be good yes. <laughs> <Good. laughs> because oh, well, i said if you are losing weight don't put up yes if you are losing weight, if your objective is losing weight, don't go for it. It's just okay. one of those bad things. It's going to be I'm, bad. 
Or you're gonna do it one time? Yes, I've had it for maybe like since I started. I've had it. I've used maybe like three. What I when I I will use this is when I will use this is when I don't have like a, like a banana or strawberry yeah. those fresh fruits. So if I'm doing just mostly vegetables, I will add this just to change the taste. Okay. If I'm like today. With this, I don't have dates in there because I have strawberries. I have the mix, uh, uh, the tropical fruits as well as half a banana. I did not put dates because all the the fruits are uh, yeah. uh, they have sugar in them. So if I'm doing mostly vegetables, and then I'll add one of these just to give it a sweet taste. Yes. Rather than yes, that's what I do. I, I understand yeah. what you mean, Dorothy, and also um, you and Dave that you, you, you learn, you, as soon as you start making them, you learn how to balance things a little bit, yes. don't you? you have to the more you it. go, the more you learn. Mm -hmm. I've got to make some more of the vegetable ones as well. I'm excited about the vegetable ones. Um, when I first um, put avocado in, again, that's another thing I thought, uh, but there was quite a lot of avocado in the shop and I tried it in there and it was nice. It was made it well, you know, just... avocado, talk to Luciana. She makes a lot of avocado. She's avocado. the one you should talk. I've, I've yeah. never tried avocado in my smoothie. I've never tried it. I think yeah. I have to try it. It's just like protein. You mix it. It's just kind of, uh, if you had um, a shea butter in your chocolate, you just use the avocado instead of the shea butter. And mm -hmm. then it's smooth and oily and it's healthy. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't, um, didn't use a big piece. I just used a little piece because I wasn't sure. But I had it in the fridge. And I didn't have any banana. So I just use a smallish piece of maybe a, a two teaspoons just to see. Oh, and and the on, the, on, the, on the Facebook group, she posted a picture and what she put in it. And it was, um, I think, just avocado, water, and uh, one scoop of protein shake chocolate. Oh, there's a there's a group you you have like um there's a group where you okay, I'll invite you. Oh, okay, yeah, please. Okay, I'll do. it seems to me that well, I'm the rhubarb girl. Um, yes. Dorothy, Dorothy, you, you, is it dates? <laughs> yes, dates. You yes, have a date, girls. And what is it for you, Ndaye? Oh, I mix a lot. <laughs> lots of different ones. Yeah, I do a lot. I'm, I'm the, the recipe bookkeeper. <laughs> I think for you, I heard, used to hear kiwi a lot. Kiwi that you use kiwi. I had kiwi a lot, and so I love. One. What? Which one I love the most? I think it's everything exotic. I like the, uh, I used to have, uh, what's the name? Lychee. Because I lychee, think I'm the I only one. You, I've heard you mention lychee too as yeah, well. I love lychee and exotic fruits and dragon fruits too. Oh, okay. So I'm all doing those exotic yes. stuff. <laughs> That's yes. awesome. And, and one thing that I'm working on right now, I'm trying to put together like a seven day um, um, detox uh, smoothie challenge. Oh, so I'm people would be interested in. So. Oh, yes, I'm yeah, trying to do a detox. Interested. Yeah, I'm trying to put that together like a detox uh, smoothie for like seven days. You have different recipes to go for seven days. So I'm trying to put that together. I'm working on it. As soon as I'm done, I'll let you know. And they, oh, yes, please send yes. me the link. That would be and we'll like, go. You like to hear the poetry. Okay. We want the sound. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we got excited about dates and, <laughs> and spice and, and, and things like that. Okay. And you do the sound effect of the ending because we're not here the, the sound effect. Oh wow. I have one of those at home. <laughs> Awesome. Happy smoothie hour. Soft, sweet, black, red, and blue fruits. Swirled and twirled and spun till the liquid juice contained therein comes forth. A smooth delight. Pineapple, star fruit, kiwi, and plum all mixed and mashed 
till the smoothie is all done. A green veggie mix can be just the thing with kale, spinach, and florets of broccoli. Avocado has a smooth, verdant taste. So nice. Almond milk, oat milk, cashew milk too. All can add the nutrients that the smoothie is due. A blue smoothie, a pink smoothie, a green smoothie too. Add chocolate and cinnamon for a spicy, warm taste. For a tropical flavor, and day eight, just add pineapple and a dash of coconut milk. You can add your favorite fruits, all you can think. We've added protein powder for that extra staying power. Now the smoothie is made even better. Stomach full for longer. Happy day with plant energy and protein in my smoothie. Wow. <laughs> Hooray! Happy smoothie! <laughs> Wow, I love it. It's not reading it, but it's more lively. Oh my God. Thank <laughs> you. So, Dorothy, you that's did. our smoothie, happy smoothie, our poetry. And uh, Alex give, made it. You give smoothie a whole new meaning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so awesome. <laughs> so, Annette, you missed when we were talking about, we would like to have another talk. As soon as possible, we're gonna do it. Is okay with that? We have to do some more research, and we would like to yeah. talk about the menopause uh, symptoms. We would like to have the PMS issues and the diabetes issues. So, if you game, oh. we're gonna have another show where we're gonna yeah. talk about those things in depth because uh, don't you raise the fact that many of those conversations are not raised, and many people are just being silent about that subject and that topic. Yeah. And I think it's something we should kind of bring up. And let people know that it's not something feeling bad only. It's something you could kind of overcome having a smoothie, which is tasting good, feeling good, and get better. Yeah. And also ways yeah. all the stuff. And she told us she had twins, and her twins are feeling the Fabulous. same PM issues, and mm. she's feeling it, but she can't do much because she's not the one experiencing it. She could understand that they are going through the PMS, but that's the only thing she could do. I feel mm. like if you raise that conversation, it's gonna be easy to discuss about that and kind of try to make them feel a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, will be fascinating, definitely. Okay, so we work on that. Thank you so much, Dorothy, for joining us today. Thank you, Annette, and welcome again. And uh, it was really amazing. Sorry you were not able to join a little bit earlier. Uh, oh, yes. she finished. I'm not done. You make me talk all the time. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> I'll drink it later. <laughs> so, Annette, I'm going to let you do the sound effect. And uh, thank you so much, ladies, for watching. Thank you, guys, for watching. And see you soon. We'll see you next Wednesday. If you are game to join next Wednesday, I'll be more than happy to have you. And if you want to recommend somebody to the show, just let me know as well. Thank you. So and okay. I'm going to give you the whole show, and you choose your last poetry to close up everything. So bye-bye, oh, no. everyone. I leave. Thank Don't you so you much. Say bye. Thank bye. you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm gonna let you have the whole stage for you and you do your music, okay. your sound okay. effect. So I'm going to read a poem from my book. It's called um, Surprise, um, because I think it would be nice just to end on a nice uh, positive note. So surprise, because we all get surprises. Um, I surprise myself by getting on the show, by being able to use the link. So that's my surprise for the day. Okay.
surprise is when a person wakes from a long slumber and realize that it is spring and it will soon be summer. The time is now. Beginnings will flow. Flowers will bloom and trees will blossom. The caterpillar will wake from its pupae sleep. And we will see a butterfly that we can't keep. This is surprise. Rejoice and wake refreshed. Life is surprise. Have a good day, wow. everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>